ਸੁਣਾ ਵਧਾਈ ਤਾਂ So back out here at the uh, top end safari camp wet season is rolling in and we're just uh made a quick dash back up to the northern territory wet season here in australia in the northern part of australia comes in pretty hard and fast the waters rise we've got a few problems with a couple of crocs fighting that we'll go and check out in a minute probably have to pull them out separate them fix the fences up so that water comes in they get in with each other just want to see if this big fellas around also very active this time of the year so you can see his bubbles just moving out here we'll see if he'll come up I've got no stick so I won't be going in too close with him what here he is ready so I'll just throw something on top of the water and see if he'll launch out nope Oi. so the boys are out with us today give us a hand You've got Robbo Timmy the emu pen builder and uh, Big Bowder from uh, Tipperary. Oi. Hello. Oi, come on, oi. Hello, big fella. Pretty Croc came from Bullo River Station quite a few years ago. And um, there's a beautiful big white head on him. We'll see if we can get him to come out again. If not, we'll uh, might feed him a little bit later during the day. Oi. Come on, wait, come on, wait, come on, wait. Oh. Geez, he's pretty this time of the year, isn't he? Nice big sort of 15 foot male. Active, we might give him a feed a little bit later. All right, let's go down the back. That's 17 crocs there that could potentially be a bit of an issue today. Hopefully we don't have to pull too many of them out and fix their fences, but We'll soon find out. You can see there's been a lot of water here. We've got um, boys brought this boat out yesterday. We'll probably take them both out for a bit of a run. Usually, we've got the airboats parked another 100 metres down there in the canal. Water's all the way around us. I don't think we'll get much higher than what we have now. Um, I haven't seen it this high in about seven years. Oh, she's, a, she's a big flood. Anyway, let's go see how the crocodiles are coping. Yeah, I know, but we've got to get in here and secure. Look at that fence there, all that tin's come down. That's all got to be secured. So we've got to run rails in between. The back's good, it's just the front's too deep. You've got to redo that. No, we'll... Oh, this, there's actually no fence left there, is there? All right, let's go and look at Chopper. It looks like Chopper's got a towel up in there as well. So, we've got, uh, I don't know, a metre of water in there. And uh, the crocs, you can see, they've sort of, once that water comes over that bit of tin they can see each other and they'll fight and that's what they've done and torn the fences apart so we've got to get in there fix the fences and um, catch the crocs maybe catch the crocs first then fix the fence yeah. so is it troy that's making all the mischief here that's Troy chewing it from that side, pulling it back that way. So yeah, so he looks like to be the angry ant. Yeah, he's causing all the grief. All right, let's go around the other side, see if we can get him to maybe attack us. If he does want to do that, then I'm um, not too sure. Just need to locate them, really. We know where they're at. So we've got Chopper in here. He's a bit of a um, handicapped sort of croc. He's, he's pretty been sick for the last few years. We've got Troy here. Is one of the bigger crocs that was caught out of Darwin Harbour probably about six years ago. Um, he's a big boy missing some of his tail and then next door you've got next to him another 18 foot croc called Tarzan. So it's like just one big heavyweight going on here. If they grab hold of each other they'll end up killing them. I'm going to go fix that fence. He shouldn't attack us. Shouldn't. I'm not saying he's not going to. There we 
we go. I reckon he's still in there. In there, huh? Chopper's still in here. So yeah. That's broken that fence this way. Doesn't look like they've done much overnight. No. So we're just trying to do that. It's like just a big popper as you would for catching a fish. So it gets the crocodile excited as well. Oh, here he is. There he is. Come on, boy. There you go. Healthy. Okay. Let's go. Keep coming, mate. Come on. Come up here and we'll whack a rope on you. Not wanting to play the game either, eh? If Troy was still in there, they'd still be blue or what? You'd think so, yeah. Yeah, give me a stick. Let me see what I can fucking work out in here. Big hole there. I reckon if we got that little tinny, I'll just poke around a bit and try and locate them. If I had a couple of harpoon heads would be good. I can just drive a harpoon head in the back of him and then lift his head and get a head rope onto him. Come on, big boy, where are you? Well, he was there, wasn't he? But he popped his head out there. If he's in there, then we're we're home sweet. We can just get in here and fix the. We can run a fence and barricade. So you said we can barricade ourselves along this fence with every fence in that way. Yeah. And even if we put, once we get to that where that fence is broken, where this fella's come through, just put one panel up on that side just to keep us safe the whole way through. Yeah. Cut that tree down. Yeah. And then wire that every fence in. Yeah. All right, let's get the chainsaw. See what other fencing I've got up there. We'll get it done. Who's in here? He's a big boy, this fella. I'm surprised these two aren't blown. Pirate or something this one's name is. Just coming up. Oh yeah. Hey boy. Oi. All right, let's not break a fence. Popeye or pirate, this one's called. Yeah, he's got one eye. I think Popeye, I think we're gonna call him. The can of spinach. He's saying you were right. Yeah. They got gnarly over here. So you got another little gal in here and then we should have gnarly just here. Come, we got the tinny. Yeah. Just poke around the tinny. Try and locate them both. Yep. If we find them both, one in one, one in the other, we just fence her up, lock her up, yep. done. We'll pull, um, we'll pull chopper out, not chopper. Jaws. Jaws. Yep. We'll get him out, go in there, fix that fence. That's that done. Because he'll just humbug the shit out of us the whole time. Um, we should be right. I think this dry season we go pretty hard to make sure we don't have to ever do this again and really sort of pen them in and... Oh, yeah. Oh, it wasn't big enough. You got any straps or anything in this thing, Robbo? Good enough. Yeah, I reckon throw a bit of that on and I'll keep them at bay. Ah, wet boots. Welcome back to the territory of wet boots. I think they get aggressive, eh? <laughs> Got a little flat head on them. Oh, look out. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. 
Hey, there's his defense. Little frog eaters. Little slatty grey, beautiful little snake. <laughs> I think we might need the airboat. And the boat doesn't look like it's floating. Now we're coming from the lagoon, you could nearly, geez, you'd nearly go through here. If you pick your path right, or just run around the lagoon, grab it, boot back, do the quickest, easiest way. I'm not really that keen walking out there. All right. So we're going to try and drive this vehicle through to the pens. We've got the snorkel. We'll give it a go. We're just checking under the bonnet. Everything's connected. Yeah, everything's connected. Uh -huh. Good to go. All right. Get the floaties out. Yeah. <laughs> well, you and Robbo, you want to jump in the uh, on the airboat? Yep. You guys go on the lead. Yep. And um, we'll. Follow you through. Nah, I'll be right. We'll go swimming if we have to. Are you confident you'll get through? 100%. 100%. This fella do anything. Just have to the windows up. He's going to get wet. Gonna be gold. <laughs> this is gonna be fucking gold, man. Oh, dude.